organisers of the 2012 Boishaki Mellow every success and look forward to many successful festivals in the future here at the park. And uh, Shubo Nabu Basho. Thank you. May I now request uh, Mandy Wicks, Network Manager, Audio and Language Content, SBS. Good evening, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, it really gives me great pleasure to be here tonight and to represent SBS at this wonderful event. So much colour and celebration and fun. SBS is the world's most multilingual broadcaster. We have 68 different language programs on our radio schedule and we are proud that Bangla is one of them. Our overall purpose is to provide multilingual and multicultural radio and television services that inform, educate and entertain all Australians and in doing so reflect Australia's multicultural society. Our aim is to create a cohesive society by increasing awareness, understanding of all the diverse cultures that shape Australia today. And the rich culture and heritage of Bangladesh is obviously one of them. With radio, our focus is to provide balanced and impartial Australian and international news and information in your language. We tell stories and we provide information about the country in which we all live, Australia, while celebrating who you are and your magnificent culture. And of course, I do invite you to listen to the Bangor program, which is on Mondays at four. Uh, the frequency is 97.9 on the FM band. So we're genuinely thrilled that SBS is represented at this event today. It's one of the most significant community and cultural events in Australia. SBS has a store which is just over there and we do hope that you come over and say hello during the next few hours. So lastly, on behalf of SBS, I would like to wish you all a very happy new year. Shuvu Nobobosho. May I now request Honourable Robert Furolo, Member for Lakemba. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can I first of all acknowledge the traditional owners of the land that we're meeting on and to pay my respects to their ancestors, both past and present. And can I also acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues, uh, both federal and state, who have joined us here today, and acknowledge the, uh, the executive of the Bangabu Council of Australia, particularly the President, Sheikh Huck, and uh, the General Secretary, Tushar Roy, all the members of the executive committee, the volunteers, and all the people who have helped to put on this event this afternoon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud, very pleased to join with you today in my capacity as the Shadow Minister for Citizenship and Communities, but particularly as the uh, member for Makemba, representing one of the most diverse communities in Sydney, and a community which is home to thousands of people from Bangladesh. I'm also very pleased to be representing the Leader of the Opposition and all of my Labor parliamentary colleagues in the New South Wales Parliament. And we bring, with you, we bring to you our best wishes for a very successful and enjoyable New Year celebration. The Bengali people in Sydney, the Bang Bangabandhu Council of Australia and organisations like this are pulling their weight in our community. They are doing all that is asked of them from uh, the people of Australia. You're active in your schools, you're active in your community, you're supporting the local area, and events like this are a chance to showcase your wonderful history and culture. On behalf of the uh, opposition leader, John Robertson, I bring to you congratulations and best wishes for today's celebration. And I join with all of my friends here in wishing you a happy new year. Shuvo Nabo Basha. Well done. I have the pleasure to request now Honourable uh, uh, Dr. Jeff Lee, Member for Parramatta, representing New South Wales Premier.
Well, good evening. And firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the President, General Secretary, and all the Council members on the Bangu, Bangu Council of Australia. Also, I'd like to acknowledge Lieutenant General Chowdhury, High Commissioner of Bangladesh, uh, my state and federal uh, colleagues, uh, parliamentary colleagues, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is certainly a privilege to be part of your celebrations tonight. And I join in your celebration for a happy new year. And it is a pleasure to represent the Premier, Barry O'Farrell, uh, tonight at this event. And he sends his best wishes for you today, and I've got a message that I'm going to read out a little bit later on. But can I start by saying that one of the greatest strengths that New South Wales has is its people. The people from right around the world that have chosen Australia to make its home. In my electorate at Parramatta, we have many people from many different nations that have called Australia home. And many of those people are Bengali people. And I think they share to the rich tapestry that makes Parramatta a unique place to live. And one of those uh, places that you may know is a Spice of Life, uh, owned by a Bangladeshi uh, man. And we, we often go there, and in fact it is the biggest uh, restaurant in Harris Park. So I'd encourage you all to go there and support Harris Park as that community. I'd also like to congratulate Professor Chowdhury on his award today. Uh, it's excellent to see someone for his contribution to, contribution to higher education and dedication to freedom uh, and uh, democracy. And it's a well-deserved recognition of your lifetime's work. So well done, Professor. Uh, the Premier Barry O'Farrell said it sent a short message which he asked me to read out for you, if I can, and I'll take it just a minute or two. It starts by, it gives me great pleasure to wish the Bangara Bandu Council of Australia all the best for the upcoming Boshaki Mela, the 20th Bengali New Year Festival. It has been a pleasure to watch the festival grow over the last 20 years from its humble beginnings at Burwood Girls High School to its current home at Sydney Olympic Park, necessary to accommodate the 15,000 strong crowd. Today, Bashaki Mela is one of the most eagerly anticipated social events in the state's social calendar. It is a day of food, fun, festivities and fireworks. A joyous heraldry of Bengali New Year that every citizen can enjoy. The festival encourages them Bengali speaking in the wider community to come together to share the unique Bengali cultural traditions. I wish the Bengali Council of Australia and the New South Wales Bengali community all the best in the wonderful, small, prosperous 1490. Shofu Nobu Can I just finish by congratulating the Council for its fantastic work. Events like these don't come by accident. There's lots of hard work, not only by, by the committee members, but certainly a lot of volunteers that put together. And I, and I personally wish everybody a happy new year. Thank you. I now request Honourable Michelle Rowland, Federal Member for Greenway. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is an absolute privilege to join with you here today to celebrate the 20th anniversary of this wonderful fe festival and to usher in the Bengali New Year. I would like to say that over the past 18 months, there are three things that have struck me in particular about the Bangladeshi community in Australia. The first is that I've had the pleasure of learning about Sheikh Mujibar Rahman and the father of uh, a friend of Bangladesh and what a fantastic achievement he has set for the world in leading independence. The second is that I've had the pleasure of meeting on visiting parliamentary delegations many members of your government and how progressive and focused on social issues those people have been. And the third is the appreciation of the Bangladeshi community of the importance of action on climate change because as we know there are so many millions of Bangladeshis who are directly affected by climate change. So I'd just like to place on record those three things that have been very important to me in learning about your people and your culture over the past 18 months. I would like to mention some of the special guests we have in today, and particularly the President, Mr. Sheikh Hawke, and the General Secretary, Mr. Tushar Roy, and my parliamentary colleagues, Minister Garrett, Julie Owens, and Laurie Ferguson, Robert Frula, Barbara Perry, and Jeff Lee. And it is fantastic to see such a great turnout here today, which highlights the strength of the Bangladeshi community here in Sydney, and indeed the strength of multiculturalism in this country. 
It is a tribute to your council that 20 years ago this festival attracted around 200 people to Burwell Girls High School and today it's over 15,000. It is indeed a testament to the great work of the Bungabotu Council and to the wider community. I feel very strongly about multiculturalism and the role it plays in our society, myself coming from a culturally diverse background. And I, along with my parliamentary colleagues, indeed recognise the great benefits of multiculturalism. Without the Bangladeshi population in Australia, we would indeed lose an aspect of our multicultural identity and the great contributions you make to our landscape. The Bangladeshi community in Australia is an extremely active one, with many Bangladeshi Australians greatly contributing in a variety of fields including sport, academia, business, health, engineering and information technology. I have greatly enjoyed working with the Bangladeshi community in my electorate at Greenway and with the Bangladeshi Two Council in the past and I look forward to working together in the future. So thank you for putting on an excellent event and I wish you all a very happy new year. Thank you. I now have the pleasure to invite uh, the Honourable Laurie Ferguson, Federal Member for Waria. Uh, Professor A.K. Azza Chowdhury, the uh, High Commissioner, Lieutenant General Ludin Chowdhury, my many parliamentary colleagues whose presence here indicates the sense they have of importance of this event. Uh, there are many speakers, so I'll try and be brief, but as the uh, Chairman of the Federal Parliamentary Bangladeshi Friendship Group, as a person representing the most Bangladeshis in the Federal Parliament, it's, a great, uh, it's great to be here again at the Mellor. We see behind us the uh, on the, the, uh, the occasions, the photographs of, of uh, the President Rahman. And uh, in this period, of course, we have two important celebrations. Not only do we have the 20th year of the Mella, but many of us will soon be in attendance at celebrations around the 150th anniversary of the, of the birth of Rabindra Tagore. And it's worth remembering when we have the Mella how important that is with Bengal Bengali culture that the East Pakistanis banned its celebration, that it was Tagore's, Tagore's uh, poetry was banned, which actually welcomed in the Mela each year. So, as I say, in this city, where the Bengalis and the Bangladeshis in general have such a strong presence, it is indeed an important year to have both this celebration, the annual renewal, the new year, and Tagore's celebration. As a person who is so important to a Bengali culture, but is also in winning the Nobel Prize, in the early 20th century, bridge east and west in this world. Thanks for the opportunity to be very, again, part of this fellow. May I now request Honourable Julia Owen, Federal Member for Parramatta, representing the Prime Minister of Australia, and Senator Ted Lundy, Parliamentary Secretary for Immigration and Citizenship. Shuvo Nabo Basho. Can I acknowledge Sheikh Hawke, the President, Mr. Tushar Roy, the General Secretary, and all the committee members of Bongabondu Council of Australia, Lieutenant General Chowdhury, High Commissioner for the People's Republic of Bangladesh, my parliamentary colleagues, distinguished guests, and of course, Bengali Australians. Let me begin by acknowledging and paying my respects to the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today, the Wongal clan of the Darug language group, and thank them for their continuing contributions to the Sydney community. As the local member for Parramatta, I've thoroughly enjoyed coming along each year to Boshaki Mela. In fact, this is my seventh year, and I was here at Olympic Park last year with you, and I'm proud today be representing the Prime Minister and the recently appointed Minister for Multicultural Affairs, Senator Kate Lundy. Senator Lundy's appointment recognises the importance of multiculturalism to Australia's identity by declaring it a portfolio in its own right. It makes the statement that multiculturalism is not an add-on in Australia, it's well and truly central to who we are. Bengali migrants have contributed significantly to Australian society and continue to do so. As a community, we have a higher than average rate of educational qualifications and most have come to Australia with recognised